Welcome back, loves. If this is your very first time, my name is Tony. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today on Let's Work the Day. So, as you can see, we've got not soft limb going on today, but we've got more of a full face today. Y'all see, I popped my lashes on today. I'm trying to be a little cute. I'm <laughs> trying to be a little cute today. But uh, we are going to go ahead and jump into this full glam look. Again, I say full glam, but it's soft at the same time. I kept my eyeshadow very neutral today. Um, just giving off soft you know that looking vibes today um but again go ahead and continue watching if you want to see how i achieved this look today don't forget to hit that subscribe button below so you guys can see and check in with me when i have these videos dropping so let's get it so as you can see i have molded my hair back i'm getting ready to do some running around today so i figure why not hop on here and just let's do a quick face um i think we'll do more than the soft glam today i think i want to up it up a little bit i'm going to a, a little barbecue later for my sister so i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna get a little cute <laughs> i'm gonna get a little cute today so i'm taking these wraps off because I don't like doing makeup when I have my hair tied down. You can't get in like, you know, the small little creases, especially if you have a ponytail or, you know, anything like that. So I'm just taking these out real quick. My hair is probably still a little wet, but I really don't care. It was just something quick today. Let's see. I got a little hard. It's hard enough. It's hard enough. So we're just doing like a quick little ponytail today. Um, I think I'm gonna change it up next week. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this brown color. I'm not feeling it. Oh, I forgot my mirror. In the last video, I was telling y'all that I had just got my eyebrows freshly waxed and I wasn't gonna do real hard, like defined eyebrow. But I think I'm gonna do that today because again, we wanna step it up just a little bit since we're going more for a full glam look and again i'm just going in with my fake it brow gel i'm gonna shape my eyebrows upward into the natural shape that they already are nothing you know nothing fancy just kind of getting everything placed um then i'm going to go in with my benefit precisely my brow pencil i'm actually trying this out today <laughs> i just got it yesterday i heard really great things about it and my other anastasia pencil was going out so this is what this one is this is the precisely my brow this is in the number five warm black brown um so for starters this is a very fine tip um eyebrow pencil so we're gonna go in let's see I'm sorry, I can't talk and draw my brows. <laughs> draw my brows at the same time. So if I get a little quiet, just just bear with me. I must say, for starters, this is a really good brow pencil. Like, this thing is giving off. I mean, like, that's a super smooth line. And I don't know if you guys can see it. It's got like an extreme, you know what? Before I move any further, 
Every time I go to edit these videos, I realize how ashy my hands are. Like, ugh, the curse of my daddy for giving me these hands because my hands are so dry. And they look like, my cousin used to tell me I had breakfast sausages for fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna say, this is the second benefit product that I've tried this week between this and the mascara and benefit y'all are making me a believer that's all I'm saying you're making me a believer out of your products now shoot uh, I made that one a little dark so let's fill this one in see this is why I told y'all I can't talk and draw at the same time <laughs> All right, so I have gone in and just shaped up my brows. Next, I'm going to, oh shoot, okay. Next, I'm gonna just brush those up just to, I don't wanna put any more brow gel, but I do wanna brush up the product that I just put on there. Make sure everything is nice and, you know, where I want it to be before I put my concealer on. So today I think I'm gonna go in with my uh, Fenty concealer. This is, which one is this one? This is in the color 360. So I'm just gonna define my brows today with this. Uh, apparently if I have enough left, let's see. Oh, okay. So when I'm doing more of a fuller brow, I do like to go in a little thicker um, with my concealer. Um, rather than just doing a small, faint little, you know, couple dots of it, like I did on my soft brow. Um, and that's just more for the definition, I guess. Uh, but again, to each his own, again, with makeup, I'm gonna keep stressing that because makeup is no different from any other art form. We are all gonna have our different approach to it everybody's gonna have their different method to it. So for me personally, I like to go in, like I said, a little thicker on the concealer when I'm doing my brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and shape these up because I don't wanna spend too, too much time um, on the brows. So I'll go ahead and run through these and then we All right, so I have shaped my brows out on the bottom. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in on the top. Um, personally, I don't like it too, too thick on the top. Uh, I always say that and then I always end up putting up a little too much product. So whatever, we just gonna roll with it today. We're gonna roll with it. We'll go in with a tad bit of a heavier line. Uh, and I don't mind the additional highlight today. Since I'm kind of going more full glam, I don't mind the extra highlight. Every once in a while, hold on. What you want, girl? I'm recording. Oh, what you, oh, okay, okay. She's talking about how sweet. Did y'all right there my stuff? It's looking better. Me, my face likes to be real. Oh, oh. Well, you know, I got to record, girl. I'm about to put this clip in here too. So I'm saying, can you say hi? Say hi. Hey. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've shaped out the brow that I want for today. Like I said, way more <laughs> defined than what we did in the last video. Um, but what I was saying, I said I can't talk and do my brows. I haven't mastered, I haven't mastered that yet. <laughs> but um, what I was saying was, as you can see, like there's gonna be some highlight on the top of my brow today. Um, 
I do keep a skin tone concealer as well, just on, on standby because there are some times that I prefer just doing a simpler, like, well, I don't wanna say simpler, but sometimes I don't want the extra added highlight at the top. So you can always go in with a skin, uh, skin tone concealer on the top and then do a lighter shade on the bottom. Um, actually the 360, it's it's a tad lighter uh, for my skin. Um, it falls a little bit more on the golden side which forever I thought that I was like more warm golden and apparently I'm not. <laughs> I am definitely more on the neutral side of the spectrum. So again, I'm going in with my uh, NARS Soft Matte, Soft Complete, or how do I say it? Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Um, and I do have a damp sponge today. I realized last time when I was doing my makeup that there was some product that could have been blended in a little bit better. I just need to replace my brush. I like using my brush, but let me show y'all what my crusty brush looks like right now. Like this is embarrassing. Can y'all see that? Yeah, definitely going to throw that brush away <laughs> because at this point, I just, I can't do nothing with it. It's like, it's so crusty, it just needs to go in the trash. There's no saving it at this point. A little bit. Can you tell your brother to get it? I always tell my kids, y'all, I'm about to record. Do y'all think they care? Nope. They like just busting on in my room. Like, I'm just not in here doing nothing. It's cool. It's cool. That's what happens when you got kids. <laughs> so I am going in a whole lot thicker with my foundation today because I am using the same uh, soft matte um, that I used last week. Let me bring this down so. I'm using the same soft matte that I did last week, which again, you guys, this is more of my natural skin tone. Um, but I do, since I'm going more full glam, I do want it to be, you know, a little bit, um, I don't, well, I guess technically it's a little bit thicker. Um, but I just want more of a full coverage look. Oh my gosh, what is going on in this kitchen? All I hear is, I don't care. Somebody's in there arguing. Somebody's in there arguing. Let me go check out the scene. All right, so I had to go settle um, a civil war going on in my house. <laughs> That's what happens when you have boys. That's just... That's just what happens. So, um, do I want to do a little shadow today? I guess we can do a little bit. I'm not going to do a whole, whole lot. Um, let's see. This is my beauty bakery. I have not used this palette in a very long time. Breakfast in bed. And it's like some really cute, like lighter purple shades. Um, so what we'll do, we'll do a little... A little, just a little tad of a face, not too, too much. Cause I want full glam, but I want like a soft kind of look too, because I have a lot of errands to run today. And yeah, so let's see. I'm just gonna do one color. I'm just gonna do one color. I'm gonna do this messy hair. Um, Which one is messy hair? This is messy hair right there <laughs> so I'm just not even gonna stamp this now if I were doing a more concentrated eye where I'm blending out different colors I would go in with a smaller um, like a small brush like this let me show y'all I would do something smaller first and I would kind of just stamp that color into my face but I think I'm just gonna do one color and you might want to blow that off uh, so that you don't have dust flying everywhere but i'm just gonna move that color all over my eye like i said it's a lighter color uh for my skin tone but like i said i just want something really cute simple full face but not like i'm you know going out to the club or which i don't even know why i said that because i don't go to clubs but <laughs> uh so i'm just gonna work that around kind of just stamp it 
in place. Um, I actually might mix this with a little bit of this darker shade as well, just so it shows up just a little bit more because it's leaning a little light. So I'm gonna mix in this other color called Yawning. We'll just blend that in there. And like I said, I'm not even gonna go in with like a skin tone shade in the upper area. I'm just gonna blend this whole color all over my eyelid. And then I'm gonna diffuse it out. So again, when you're doing any kind of makeup, even in your eye makeup, you want to make sure that you always diffuse the colors out. So blending in circular motions will help you achieve like that really blurred out finish. And I think I used a darker color on this before I did this purple, but whatever. We are here now. I might go in, I lied y'all, I might go in with just a little brown. And I'm just gonna dust it right on top. So I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place, uh, the Warrior palette. And I'm just gonna go in with a skin tone color and just kind of stamp that on the upper area. Just so it kind of blends into my uh, skin a little bit better. Or, well, not my skin. Technically, it's blending into the concealer color. Um, but I'm just gonna brush that out just a little bit. Really light-handed, okay? You don't have to, you know, do like real hard. Just real light-handed, do that. Okay, so I went ahead and I put on, or uh, I put on, I diffused out the rest of my eyeshadow. Like I said, again, I'm just doing something really soft. So I'm just sticking with the one solid color of purple. And that's what we're gonna do today. So now I'm gonna go in with my, Gosh, I feel like I need to switch because I just can see this running out. So I'm gonna switch back to my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the color Chestnut. I know that was upside down, but. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm gonna do a little bit lighter on my chin today. Sometimes I feel like my chin is just highlighted way too much. So we're gonna go softer on the chin today. Again, just doing all of my Areas gonna give myself my oh Lord. might want to make sure that line is <laughs> straight because it's a little crooked. We can fix that. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do just a tad of the concealer around my forehead. I feel like sometimes I add too much in the forehead too. So we'll calm it down today on the chin and on the forehead, but I'm gonna definitely go in under these eyes. And I'm actually going to immediately set today after I blend my eyes because I, I just crease so bad, you guys. And I tried in my last video to like hold off and do, you know, my regular process, but I was like, no, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stop and set this face today because again, I'm doing full glam. I don't want to crease, I don't. I'm gonna spend all this time doing makeup and the last thing you want is for your makeup not to look smooth. You know what I'm saying, sis? So we're going to set the face immediately after I do these eyes and I'm probably going to blend out what am I trying to say I just keep losing my thoughts today uh <laughs> yeah I lost it I lost it I'm gonna go in with a second layer in the inside of my eyes just really on top of those areas that I creased the most and then we're gonna immediately set it and really get that powder in there so that the area under the eye can really stay nice and smooth. Again, we're just using Old Faithful here. This is the Laura Mercier. And I've got my separate sponge for my powder and we're gonna pack this powder in them creases today, okay?
I'm just gonna use my um, Maybelline Fit Me concealer today instead of using my contour stick because I just really like how nice and defined like I just like the darker color um I just need to try that contour stick by Fenty in a different color because truffle I just don't think is dark enough and I'm gonna hit my chin just a little bit today not too much I don't like to typically do it around my chin but I'm gonna add just a little more flair today I guess we can say because again we want the full we want the full face today. <laughs> Since I want to kind of define my contour today, I'm just gonna go in and hit it with a little bit of concealer. I don't want that area too highlighted, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit. And I'm just essentially kind of like cleaning up the line so it's just like more focused. I feel like that's all the contour really is, but. I have blended out my contour that I want. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do some powder. I always get like lost in my thought process. I don't know what's wrong with me. So I'm gonna go in my uh, little going. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier in my medium deep. Um. So because I want to bring like you know, really focus on like bringing the color depths back into my face. I know I told y'all in the last video that I usually mix the two colors, but this is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna take this darker medium deep color around my jawline. And this is because I took the darker concealer around my jawline, right? And so I just wanna make sure that all of that is blended nicely. So instead of using a mixture of the two colors around my jawline, I'm going to just mainly focus on using the medium deep so everything just kind of smooths itself out around the jaw. So again, taking, ooh, that was a lot. No, it wouldn't, I could use that. <laughs> just taking that medium deep and going around my jawline. And just blending all that out, all that color and depth that we just brought into the face. We want to blend all that out. So I'm going to go ahead and try out a new little product today. This is called Such a Rush. And this is by ColourPop. It is their cheek palette. So... This particular palette, and this is good if you're starting off with makeup, that way you're not buying a ton of different products, but this comes with a bronzer, a blush, another blush, and a highlighter. I'm going to bronze all of the areas uh, that I just placed the contour in. Oh, and the nose, I have to do my nose, I almost forgot. Um, Again, we are doing a much lighter nose today, so Uh, more than I thought it was gonna be. Ooh, ooh, okay. I'm blowing that out. That added like a whole lot. I think we need to soften that up some. I was not expecting for it to. I don't want to say I wasn't expecting for it to be this pigmented, but at the same time, maybe I wasn't prepared. <laughs> this is actually the first ColourPop product that I've ever used, so there we go. But I do like this bronzer on here. Oh my gosh. And I was just saying in the last video how I wanted a warmer toned bronzer so okay we might be we might be doing something with this one right here 
I'm going in around that perimeter area. Just kind of warm all that skin back up. Let's go in with a little bit of blush. Let me see. So they've got they've got full throttle and ride high. I think I like this. Um, I don't know. I think I'm feeling this purple. It's kind of like a purple brownish color. So let's let's try that out and see. That's a nice color. It's like really soft. And again, I'm kind of bringing that into my temple area and just like really bring that out. That's really pretty. But I'm going to go ahead and hit the under eye with the same color that I did um, on the top of my eyes. And I think we are getting close to wrapping this thing on up. Where's my smudger? I've got a really good. All right, I have found the brush. It was sitting right in my face. Oh my gosh, I'm so blind. I am so blind. I'm just hitting the under eye with the same color that I did on the top. All right, so as y'all can see, I had to hop off and uh, do my eyeliner and put my eyelashes on. Eyelashes are something I've just never, I can do everything else, but I have just never been skilled with putting on lashes. So I went ahead and stepped off and put my lashes on. So now I'm just cleaning up my lips so we can go in with a lipstick. All right, you all, so we have the finished look here. I've got my slick back ponytail today. Oh, yeah, my hands ain't ashy either. My hands ain't ashy. <laughs> oh, yeah. That toothpaste, I mean lipstick. I said toothpaste. Lipstick on teeth. But these are the finished vibes for today. Um, like, you know, I'm probably going a little bit dramatic with my lashes today more than I typically wear them. Um, shout out to Fake It Lashes by my girl Dahlia. This is her eyelash brand and this is called Presumida. So those are the lashes and the whole vibes that we are giving for today. Again, this is just a very, um, I would say this is full face, but soft at the same time you know not too crazy on the eyeshadow or anything like that today but again these are the vibes tell me what you guys think uh if my method seemed to work out for you or if you wanted to try this look and you did how did you achieve this so yeah let's drop that in the comments below again don't forget to uh, tongue-tied <laughs> don't forget to hit that subscribe button below so that you guys can see when these videos are coming out again thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today i'm about to go eat some food i'm hungry and i'm about to go run my errands for the day so yeah i'll see y'all